Hi everyone, this is Jennifer from Jennifer Biederman Jewelry. We're going to be making this uh, necklace today. It's just a peyote stitch using different size beads. And um, the reason why I'm doing this video is because I uh, posted this on my closed Facebook page, uh, Beading Tips and Tutorials, and I got such positive feedback that everyone was begging for a tutorial. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a video tutorial and I'm also going to be uh, writing a PDF. Uh, because this, you know, if you don't want to go back and look at the video, at least you're going to have the PDF and you can follow along. I don't use any fancy um, programs to write my, or software to write my tutorials. I literally take one picture at a time and I write step by step by step so that you can see my hands, you can see the actual beads I'm working with rather than like a, a software type of thing that I have trouble following. And so that's why I don't do that. Okay. So here's the necklace. Um, it measures, uh, in total, including the clasp, 19 inches. You can make it longer, you can make it shorter. You're just going to decide how long you make this piece here, and maybe you won't add one of these, or you're gonna add another one. So you'll decide um, how long your necklace wants to be, but I'm gonna show you for a 19 inch, okay? Uh, it it hangs really well. It's really light. It looks heavy, but um, and I love how this just goes like this, then like this. Anyway, I'm really proud of this necklace. So the materials you'll need for this project is um, you're going to need some delicas. Now, delicas you're going to need a full tube, one full tube. This is 7.5 grams. I was left with about this like this much left when I finish so really you need a full tube if you only have half order more okay that's what you're gonna need most of uh, you're also gonna need um, for here these little balls here I use three millimeter uh, nickel colored rounds so these is a this is a metal bead but you can use any three millimeter round you want but for this size necklace you will need a hundred and eighty minimum okay um, you will need a uh, size eight, which is right here, this size eight, and I'm using just one color. I'm using this uh, gray. It's a Ceylon, uh, silver gray Ceylon. Um, again, use any color. I pulled these out because I thought that they would look really, really nice, but I think I'll do it with uh, different colors. Um, I'm going to be using two size 11s. I'm using a black. And I'm using another gray, and it's uh, it's uh, the same, well, close to this one. It's actually called blue gray gold luster, but it's it's a gray, okay. And uh, this is how many beads I used. So not a lot of elevens. This is how many eights I used, and and for the elevens, I used brand new tubes, so really not a lot. Um, what else are you gonna need? You will need some wire guardians, four, because for the class that I chose to make was I put two wire guardians here with an 8OC bead, and then I put some jump rings, my class jump rings, and I did it over here as well. So four wire guardians, and you're also gonna need some jump rings. Doesn't really matter the size but I'm using a 16 gauge, five millimeter inner diameter and a 7.5 outer diameter, right? So that's what I'm using. Um, what else, that's it. Well, you're gonna need a needle. I'm using a size 10 beading needle. I'm using some fire line. You're gonna be using a lot, a lot, a lot of thread. So uh, I recommend cutting off a big, long piece, uh, enough that you're comfortable working with. And I will stress this, you need to condition your thread because you're going in and out of these beads, in and out of these beads with a big, long thread, and it's gonna start to break down. So you really need to be careful. And so just um, condition it, okay? Because then it's gonna end up breaking. Ask me how I know that because it happened to me on this project. Uh, what else? Oh, right, the focal point here, these pink beads. Now, you can use 
I tried using bicones, three millimeter bicones. It didn't look that great because they were all sitting all wonky. You can definitely use three millimeter rounds of a different color. You can use fire polish, three millimeter. You can use really anything you want as long as it's at like a three millimeter. I tried a four millimeter, it looked too big. So I, but for me, I just using this uh, Rose Fuchsia mix uh, of 6OC beads. And they're really pretty and they're all different colors. And I think it worked really well with the silver and the black and the gray. Uh, I bought these at Bead FX. It's a, it's a Canadian company and uh, for 20 grams, it's like $2.29. That's Canadian dollars. So if you are in the US, it's gonna be even cheaper. So um, I bought these in a bunch of mixes. I bought green mixes, I bought bronze mixes, I bought blue mixes. They're at gorgeous, the mixes. These are Czech, six, six OC beads. And that's it. So get your materials together. We're gonna get started on this beautiful necklace. Okay, so I'll be right back. Okay, so here we go. Now, uh, first you want to put a stop bead, okay, because we're doing peyote. Otherwise, they're going to fall right off your thread. You want to leave yourself a big, long tail, and I would say 12 to 18 inches. You need that so that at the end you, you can sew uh, this on, and if you wanted to extend it, you can, because what I did just so you know, I started just making this piece and I started making my bracelet and I realized it wasn't long enough so I just created this piece here. So don't worry about this length too much, just you can always add to it after, okay? But to start, we're gonna pick up 10 silver steel delicas. Uh, again, this all depends on how wide you want your necklace. Now I use 10. And this is what it created, created this size. If you want a lot wider, add more. Make sure it's an even number. And if you want it not as wide, put less. Make sure it's an even number. Okay, so I'm picking up 10. Bring it to your stop bead. And we're just gonna start a peyote. And peyote is big, oh, look at this big cut. That cut is when I, I was doing other stuff, crafting downstairs. Anyway, pick up, you're at the end here, pick up one bead, skip the first bead, go into the next bead. That's peyote. Pick up a bead, skip a bead, go into the next bead. Now, this is the most fiddly, fiddly part of the project. And you want your beads to sit like a T. Now it's all wonky, don't worry, just take your stop bead, pull it down, and they're gonna sit the way they're supposed to sit, like that. Now I like working upwards, so just hang on to your piece, pick up a bead, skip the next bead, go into the next one like that. As you go, it's going to get a lot easier because your beads are going to be sticking up and you'll know exactly where to put them and it's going to go pretty quick. Give it a nice tug. So you have that. Pick up a delicate. Skip the next one. Go into the next one. Now, if you don't have delicas in the house and you don't want to wait for a shipment to arrive or go pick them up. You can always use size 11 seed beads. It's fine. It's just the delicas. They just, they're perfectly, uh, perfect cylinders and they sit uh, next to each other perfectly, but you can definitely use size 11 seed beads. It's fine. Pick up a bead, skip a bead, go into the next bead. Now I condition my thread, but see how I'm pulling my thread? I'm just being gentle with it. I don't want it grinding against the uh, the C beads. So that's what makes the thread break down. And I don't know if I mentioned, I'm using a size uh, six pound fire line. I didn't mention it, but I'm mentioning it now. All right, skipping the last bead, going into the last bead like this. So now we've completed 
the second row. Okay, but in peyote, just so you know, this is actually the third row, but I'm not going to confuse you. So let's just flip our work. Now it's going to be a lot easier to see what we're doing. Uh, you're just going into the upper bead. So pick up a bead, go into the next bead. Now this tail is going to get in your way, but it needs to be there. Don't cut it off. Pick up a bead, go into the next upper bead. up a bead, go into the next bead. Now, if you're a beginner beater, like a real beginner beater, you can stick with this, okay? Stick with the video, see what I'm doing, because even if you're a beginner, you can do this, okay? Because it's actually pretty simple. It's just peyote using different sizes. Okay, so then what you're gonna do, flip your work, and then you're gonna continue that up and down, up and down, up and down until you have the length you want. Now, if you want a 19 inch um, necklace like I made, this piece from here to here is two inches. But this is where we start adding beads. So from here to here, where's my ruler? Oh right here. From here to here is one and three quarter inches. That bead we're looking at, that gray bead right there. But again, you can always add or you can take off. Okay, so don't stress about the length here. Really, don't stress. Okay, so continue that until you have the length you want. Um, and then we're going to start adding, we're going to be doing these components here. And I'm only going to show you, first of all, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do this component, then this component. Because since I already made this uh, this necklace, I'm not going to make it a, a full one again. Okay, but you'll, you'll get the gist of it. Okay, so I'll work on my piece and I'll be right back. All right, so I did a little strip here. Yours could, it may be longer, okay, but uh, just for tutorial purposes. I've laid out the beads that I'm gonna be picking up, okay? So I have my Delicas, I've got my size 11 gray, I've got my size 11 black, I've got my size eight gray, and I've got my three millimeter metal bead, because we're gonna be doing this component, okay? So now, once you've decided the length, this is what we do. Now, we're going to pick up, we're done with the Delicas, we're going to pick up a size 11 gray, and we're going to go up into the next one. So now we're starting, this is going like this. So continue with your Delicas. So you've picked up one size 11 seed bead, continue with your Delicas all the way up, and then all the way down. I'm going to flip my work, picking up a Delica, Delica, and right before that size 11 gray bead, the last Delica, Okay, now I'm just gonna move in so that you can see what I'm doing because it's the same kind of color. So I've just put my last Delica, here is my size 11, and here is where I need to add a bead. So I need to pick up the same bead as this one. So you're going through that next bead. Okay, so we have this, turn your work, now we're changing the line again. So now we're picking up a black and you're gonna go through that size 11 gray. You're picking up a 
size 11 gray going into the next Delica. And now you're just doing your Delicas all the way to the top. Now you're going to see as this grows, you're going to see the pattern and you're going to see which bead you need to pick up. So now I'm at the end, turn my work, I'm going to do my delicas all the way down until I get to that, just right before that 11 gray. So now I'm here, now I need to pick, because I'm right here, I need to pick up a gray 11, size 11. Now I'm here. I need to pick up a black. Okay, so now you're going to see this is going like this. Now I need to change again. So I'm going to flip my work. The next bead is a size 8. The next bead, because we're continuing this line, we're picking up a black going into that gray 11. Now I need to continue this line, so I'm going to pick up a gray, 11, go into the next Delica, and continue with my Delicas. Until I can't put Delicas anymore, you'll see, we'll continue. Flip your work, pick up a Delica. Go down, pick up a Delica, go into the next one. I have my size 11 gray CB, so now I know I need to go pick up a CB. Now I'm coming out of here, I know I need to pick up a black, so I'm going to pick up a black. Now I'm here, I need to pick up an 8, go through the 8. Now we're going to look at the piece because this is what I did. I did gray, I did black, I did red, uh, the 8s, I'm going to do the 3, I'll do the 8, and then I'm going to do the black. Okay, so now you need because we're right here, we're picking up a three millimeter round. Now we're picking up a an eight. Go into the next black, 11. I'm coming out of a black, I'm picking up a black. Coming out of a, of a gray 11, picking up a gray 11. Coming out of a Delica, pick up a Delica. Turn my work, I'm at the end of the round. I need to pick up a Delica. Go into the next Delica. Now, you'll notice that, okay, here is your stop bead. When you're going up, it's whatever you're going into is what you're picking up. When your stop bead is here, it's whatever you're coming out of is what you're picking up. Hope that makes sense. Now, I'm coming at, because my stop bead is here, I'm coming out of a Delica, so therefore I'm gonna pick up what I'm going into which is the size 11 gray. I'm going into a black, I'm picking up a black. I'm going into an eight, I'm picking up an eight. I'm going into a three millimeter, I'm picking up a three millimeter. Okay, now you want your pull turn. 
Now I'm going to do these eights on this side. So now that I'm out of this, I need to pick up an eight and I'm going up this three millimeter. It's loose here, so what I need to do is pull that and pull that because I want it to be tight. I'm coming out of a three millimeter. I'm going to pick up a three millimeter, go into the eight. I'm coming out of the eight, I'm picking up an eight, I'm going into the 11. It looks like there's no space, but that's okay because what's happening, it's all gonna bow, okay? And it's all gonna work out. Even though you don't see space there, just go up into the 11, pull. And then when I pull, look what happens. Everything just started bowing up. Coming out of this black, picking up a black, going into the gray 11. Pull, coming out of this gray 11, picking up a gray 11, going into the Delica. Okay, now that we're here, it looks like, oh, well, I need to pick up a Delica. No, you want to finish up this line, okay? So when you put that last one, you're going to flip your work, and I want to finish this line, so I'm going to pick up a gray 11. Now I'm done that line. Now I'm here. I'm going into a black. I'm going to pick up a black. I'm going into a eight, an eight. It looks like there's no room, but it's okay. There is room. Pick up an eight. Pull so it sits there. See, it fits. It's going to look weird and wonky. Don't worry. Coming out of an eight, pick up a three millimeter round. Go through that three millimeter. I am going into this eight, I'm picking up an eight. Now I'm starting a new round coming this way. And what I said, because I have an eight, a three, an eight, I'm going to do my black. Flip my work. Now I'm picking up a black. I'm going up that eight. Now you want to start to pull this. Okay, so just make sure everything's nice and tight. That's where it's sitting. I'm coming out of an eight. I'm picking up an eight. I'm going up that skipping this one, going up the next three millimeter. Coming out of the three millimeter, picking up a three millimeter, I'm going into the next eight, sticking up, just like peyote, okay? Well, it is peyote, this is what we're doing. Coming out of this eight, I'm skipping this bottom bead, I'm going into the upper bead, so picking up an eight. coming out of a black, picking up a black, going into that gray 11. Now I'm not done with my blacks. I need to add another one. Okay, so now I'm at the end of the round. I'm going to turn. I need to start the new row. I need to add another black to finish the line of black. So now it's finished. Pull. Going into an eight, pick up an eight. Going into a three millimeter, pick up a three millimeter. Go into the next one. Pull. I'm going into an eight. See, it's starting to look a little far, but it's okay. That's what it's supposed to do. Go into the next eight. Pull tight. Now we're going into that black. I'm going to pick up a black. Going into the next black. Now I'm starting with new beads. 
And now I'm going to my Delica, because what we're doing, let me show you the piece. Now we're doing our Delicas here. This is the same process as this one, just this one I use bigger beads and this one I'm using the small beads. So it just gives a different effect. So I'm just gonna give it a tug and I'm gonna pick up a Delica. Go up that black. I'm coming out of a black. Go into the next eight. And I want you to start to pull, okay? Because I want it to bow in. Coming out of an eight, pick up an eight, go into the next three millimeter. Coming out of the three millimeter, pick up a three millimeter, go into the next eight. Coming out of that eight, picking up an eight, going into the next 11. Now my eights, the row is not done, right? because my 11's up here. I have this eight down here, so I'm turning my work. I'm picking up an eight to finish up that line. Now that line's finished. Okay, now I'm going into a three millimeter, so now I'm gonna pick up a three millimeter, go into the next one. Sorry, I'm coming out of that eight, pick up a three millimeter, go into the next one. Now I'm going into this eight, so to me, Again, if you're new at beading, it only makes sense because we have our line here, we need to pick up an eight. I need to continue this line, so I need to pick up a black. Now this, you need to start paying attention. We need to pay attention all the way through, but look, this bead may be really hard to see because we have that Delica there. So I need to pick up a Delica. I'm continuing the Delicas because, <clears throat> let's look at our piece. I'm gonna want one, two, three, four Delicas going across, okay? So, Coming out of it, this Delica, now I'm picking up a Delica. Coming out of a Delica, I'm picking up a Delica. Going into the black. Coming out of this black, I'm gonna pick up a black and go into the eight. Coming out of this eight, picking up an eight, it looks like, oh, where do I put it? Do I put it here? No, you have to skip the speed and go into the next one. Pull. Now it's starting to bow, which is what we want. <clears throat> Coming out of this three, picking up a three millimeter, going into the next eight. And just like the other rows, once I'm at the top, my three millimeters aren't finished, so I'm gonna turn my work to finish my three millimeter line. I'm picking up a three millimeter to finish that line. Coming out of three millimeter, I'm picking up an eight. Coming out of this eight, Going into the 11, I need to pick up an 11, black. I just want you to see what's happening. Coming out of this black, now I've got this Delica right here, picking up a Delica. Careful not to go through all your Delicas, go through just that one. Pull, pick up a Delica, go through the next one, the last one. Okay, so now we have this. Now I'm at a point where I'm gonna start making this go this way. This way. You can count your delicate beans if you want 
Now, I saw someone else do this, okay? And basically, once you're done this row, and you come back down and then up again, you know it's time to change. Or you count your delicas. Once you have four sitting on the side, then you it's time to change also. But right now, we're picking up a delica. Go into the next one. Pick up a delica. Go into the next one. And this is where we're changing. Right now, we're changing. Because now I want my blacks to come around this way. So now, I'm coming out of a delica, I'm picking up a black. And all of a sudden, you're gonna see it change. Black into the black. So see what that's happening? Now when I come back down, I'm adding my blacks, okay? Now, I want the same thing happening with my eights. So now I'm picking up an eight. That's what we want to happen. And I want the same thing happening here with my three millimeters. So now I'm gonna pick up three millimeter. I'm skipping this one and I'm going into this one. I'm gonna pull. So now we have this funny looking thing. Now, because I have this line of three millimeters and I'm now I'm gonna be doing my line of three millimeters down this way, but I don't, I'm not gonna put my three millimeter on the side because it's right here. I'm gonna be working on that on my way up. Now I'm going on my way down. What goes next to the three millimeter? The eight. Turn my work, pick up an eight. Go down the three millimeter. Now see how that's all loose? We don't want it like that. We want to pull that last bead we pulled on and pull. Now, I'm coming out of this three millimeter. I need to pick up a three millimeter and I'm gonna go down that eight because now I'm creating a line down this way. Pull. I'm coming out of that eight. I need to create my eights down this way, picking up an eight going into that black 11. Even though it looks like it shouldn't go there, it goes there. Okay. Pull. Now we're just gonna continue with our pattern. So now I'm picking up a black. I'm going into the next Delica. And now I have to finish my rows of Delicas here. So, just a second, what's happening here? Let me just turn it. Something happened here, I missed something. Take that off. No, nope. I'm going through this Delica. That looks a little weird. Now, Rather than edit this, I'm going to see what happened. Well, hold on. Let me go into that next. Yeah, I see what happened here. See, I missed a bead. Okay? I missed a bead. And doesn't matter if you're a seasoned beater, this can happen. So now what I need to do is I need to take off this row and come right back down again, taking off my beads. So boop, needle comes off and I'm gonna start taking off this, these beads. And I'm gonna see as I go down what the problem was. And I think the pro, yeah, there's a little, problem. All right, I'm going to take a look at this. I'm going to come back and I'm not going to edit this out. Okay, because I want you to see that this happens to everybody. I'll be back. <clears throat> okay, so the problem that happened was that my thread got all tangled over here. I did pick up the right beads. So just continue as I showed you. Now what I did was I went back up, I went back down again and 
we are going to continue. Okay, let me just move in. My thread just got tangled and it looked weird. Okay, so here I'm coming out of a black. I'm picking up a black because I want to continue my line this way and I'm going into that Delica. See, now it's working. Pick up a Delica. Go through the last Delica. Okay, so now we're here. Now we have one, two, three, so I'm picking up my last Delica for this row. Well, not the last Delica, but like I said, we need one, two, three, four. Now I'm here, Just a second. Skipping this lower bead, picking up a black. See how my line is going? Okay, now I'm here, I'm picking up a an eight. Going up the next eight, picking up a three millimeter. If I can get it, there we go. Going into the next three millimeter pull. Now my next upper bead, I'm skipping this bead and going into the next one, so that's my eight. <coughs> now, excuse me, now we need to change the row going down, because now I'm here. And the color I'm picking, because it's, look, black, eight, three millimeter, three millimeter, eight, I need to pick up a black. So now I'm gonna pick up a black and I'm going down this eight. And I'm going to pull this nice and tight. Coming out of this eight, picking up an eight, going into that next upper three millimeter. Pull. Coming out of three millimeter, going into that next upper eight. coming out of the eight and I'm going through that black even though it looks like it doesn't fit. Pull. I'm going out of a black, picking up a black, going through that Delica. Now on this side, look at what's happening. I need to finish this row of black. I'm not picking up a Delica. I'm picking up a black. Now I just finished that line. So now I'm picking up an eight, going up the next eight, picking up a three millimeter, going up the next upper three millimeter. sure that's sitting the way it's supposed to. Going in through the eight, so I'm picking up an eight and I'm going up this one to continue the line and now I'm picking up a black. And I'm going in the next black. Now we need to start a new color. See how it's looking? All this is going to come together. Look how it's looking. All of it's going to come together. So see the black black? Now I need to pick up my gray 11s. So now I'm picking up an 11. It's a little loose. I'm just going to pull it. Pull tight. Picking up a black. Going through the next eight. Going out of an eight. Picking up an eight. Going through the three millimeter. Coming out of this three millimeter, picking up a three millimeter. Going in the next eight. Oof, and my, my thread just came off. Just a second, I'll be right back. Okay, so I just put my needle back on my thread. So now I'm going to pick up the eight. I'm going through the black 11. 
I need to finish this line and I'm picking up an 8. Okay, so now we're here. Now I am totally running out of thread. Wait a second. No, I picked up two eights. Oh my god. Okay, so now we're here. I'm picking up a three millimeter. Going up the next three millimeter. I'm going to show you how to add thread very soon. Picking up an eight, going through the next eight. No, it's way too short. So let me, um, just a second, I'm going to show you how to add thread to this. So let me just get out of here. Get me out of here. Okay, so now it's time for me to add thread. I'm coming out of this three millimeter. I'm gonna go right over to this eight because I wanna just weave this in so it doesn't come undone. Okay, I'm gonna go back up this three millimeter. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is not something that you've seen, okay? So, I'm going to take more thread. And what I'm going to do, because I have a little itty bitty piece and I'm coming out of this three millimeter, I'm just going to tie a little knot here. Now, a lot of you are going to say, oh my God, it's going to come undone. No, it's not. You can weave in and out of your project if you'd like but this is the way I do it because I'm using fire line. And I'm gonna get as close to this as possible. I'm gonna go ahead and cut. See, I made my knot. I'm gonna cut as close as possible, cut this thread. And I'm gonna cut this thread. Close as possible. I am certainly not gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna get my lighter or a thread zapper, and I'm just gonna make a little ball. Boop, touch it very lightly, touch it very lightly, pull. That's it, I've just attached my thread. Now, you'll wanna do this going through an eight. It's gonna be a little bit more difficult through an 11, but that's the way I do it. And I've never had a project come undone, never. So I'm just going to cut myself a new piece of thread. I'm going to, and I'm going to thread my needle, and we're going to continue on on the project. Okay, so now we're going to just continue. Now I'm going into this eight. I want to continue this line, going up the eight. Now that knot's going to go right through, no problem. <clears throat> Pick up a block, go into the next block. Going up into that gray 11, picking up a gray 11. Now, I'm going to start changing my beads, right? Because I have a gray, I have a gray, now I'm doing my get delicates. So, Flip your work. We're almost done this component. But isn't this fun though? Beading. So much fun. Coming out of this uh, gray 11, going in, picking up a gray, going into the next black. Coming out of a black, pick up a black, go into the next eight. Coming out of an eight, pick up an eight, go through the next three millimeter. Coming out of a three millimeter, pick up a three millimeter. Hold on a second, three mil. Oops. To pick up that three millimeter, 
and go in the next eight. Now, we need to finish this three millimeter line. So, I'm turning my work. See how that looks? It's almost done. So, I'm coming out of this, I'm picking up a three millimeter. Going into the next three millimeter. Now, I just finished this line. It's a little loose, so I'm just going to pull and tighten. Coming out of this three millimeter, I want to continue my eights, so I need to pick up an eight. Black, pick up a black, and the next one. Pull tight, eh? Because you want it to bow. And you're just going to continue with the pattern. So now I'm picking up a gray. 11, going through that one, picking up a Delica, going through that one, okay, so I think you get the gist of this, you're going to pick up a Delica, go through the next Delica, Coming out of a Delica, pick up a Delica, go through the next gray 11, pick up the 11, go through the next black, coming out of a black, pick up a black, go through the next 8, coming out of an 8, pick up an 8, Now, again, let's just go through the next three, like that. I need to finish this eight line, so I'm going to pick up an eight, go through the next one. Loose, pull, and pull. Coming out of this eight, I want to continue the black line. I'm going to pick up a black, go through the black. And I think, did I pick up two blacks? I picked up two blacks, so. Go through that black. Now, we're going, we need to create this gray line. Through that gray and pick up a delica. Pick up another delica, go through the delica. So we're going to continue picking the, the delicas. Here, let me stay with you a bit. Now we're going to turn, pick up a delica. until we run out of beads, right? So, coming out of a Delica, picking up a Delica, going into the next Delica. I'm not gonna create another line, right? So I'm picking up another Delica, going into that silver, that gray 11 OCB. Continuing the line, picking up a an 11 C bead, going into the black, coming out of a black, pick up a black, go into the eight. I need to finish this black line, so I need to pick up another black. Go into that one. Pick up 
picking up a gray 11 CB. Pick up the Delica. Pick up a Delica. Pick up a Delica. Turn. See, look at the component. It's done. But you need to continue now, okay? So you're picking up a De Delica. Pick up a Delica. Delica. And a Delica. Now I'm sewing through that gray 11 C bean. I'm picking up a gray 11 C bean, going into the black. I need to finish my gray line, turn my work, picking up a gray. Okay, now you're going to go up and then down, and then I'm going to show you what to do next. Okay, and I'll be right back. Okay, so uh, the first component is complete. Now we're going to start the second component, and I'm not going to go through every step because what we're going to do here, I just came down, uh, added my last delicate. Now I'm at this um, gray 11. I'm just the next bead is going to be the gray 11. And then you are just going to repeat what you did on the other side. So you have two 11s sitting next to each other. So what you're going to do is see what we did here. We have the gray, we have the black, we have the the uh, 11. Uh, sorry, the eight, the three millimeter, the eight. Okay, and you're going to stop at the eight. So here we have the gray, the black, the eight the three millimeter. I'm going to work on these three rows or four rows and then I'm going to come back and show you how to do the uh, pink, the six, um, six OC beads. Okay, so I'm going to work on that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I did the process of adding my um, rows here. Now that I've uh, come out of this last three millimeter coming down, now we start picking up our pink six OC beads. Now, it's a mix, so don't worry about what you're picking up and if you're picking up the same or the same thing. Just pick up at random, okay? Don't think too much about it because it's all going to come together. It's going to look beautiful at the end. So we have this. Now we're going to go back up. We're going to come down and continue adding our sixes. And then I'm going to come back when we need to start um, going down this way, okay? So I'll be right back. Okay, so now that what I co I've come up and put my six O's here and I've stopped here because now I know one, two, three, four, five, six. So now I'm gonna start doing the line down this way. So I'm gonna pick up a size eight, go up that one. Make sure your thread doesn't get caught. Now I want my three millimeters to come down this way. So I'm going to pick up a three millimeter. So now I'm just changing it. So again, here we're picking up because I have an eight here. I need an eight to sit next to my three millimeter. And you're going to continue that as we did with the other component. So three millimeter, oops, 
your eight. into the six and then your six is all the way down and then just continue see how fun this is I find this so super fun just watching it build okay so you're just going to continue that all the way down until you get to this one here and then once you've added once you come out of this one you add the gray go back up and start again so I'm going to finish this component and then I'm going to show you how I did the clasp. I'll be back. Okay, so we've completed this component. Now I'm just going to show you how to do the clasp. Um, so this is just my mini, mini uh, tutorial. <laughs> A long tutorial, but mini. Um, okay, so where we started, I had my stop bead. I just pulled that off and put a needle on my thread. So now what I want to do is I want to get myself up the speed. So what I'll do is I'll just pick up a Delica, put it up in there. Then I'm going to pick up an eight millimeter, go into the next Delica. Okay, turn. You're going to go up through that eight and I'm going to pick up one size 11. It doesn't matter what color you use and I'm going to sew up through my wire guardian, go down, go down the channel here. Now you want to just be careful that your thread does go in that channel. Okay. And then you're picking up another 11 and you're going to go through that eight. And then you're going to sew up through the, uh, the seed bead, the guardian again, just to reinforce. You won't be able to go through this like three times. It's too tight. Okay. So we have this come around. And this is another fiddly part. See, it's already very tight. If you can't get it through, just get yourself a pair of pliers. Now I made sure that the, my thread went through that channel and I'm gonna go down that black C bead through the eight. Okay. Now what I want to do is I'm going to go through this Delica, just get myself over here because I'm just right now I'm just going to follow my thread path because what I want to do now, and you're going to just zigzag your white over there. Just going to go through some beads just to get yourself over here. And then you're gonna do the same thing you did on this side. So just zigzag your way over there. and up this one. Okay, again, you're picking up an eight. You're going through that Delica, pull, go up through that eight, pick up an 11, your wire guardian, go through the wire guardian on the other side, making sure your thread goes through that channel. Pick up your 11, go through the eight, and then what you're gonna do is just reinforce like we did on this side, okay? And then I'll be back to show you how to put the jump rings on. 
Okay, so now for the clasp on this side. So uh, we've just added our wire guardians and you need to open a jump ring. You'll pick up a closed jump ring and you're gonna go through one of the wire guardians and you're gonna close this. Now, closing a jump ring, it's really important to really make sure it's closed. So grab one on one side. It's good to have some bent nose uh, uh, pliers. And then what you wanna do is just rock it back and forth till you feel it touch. And it's closed. If it's not closed, it could, it could come off. You're gonna pick up another open jump ring. Oops. And you're gonna put on the other wire guardian and you're gonna hook that second jump ring that you added the first time. And close that. Rock it back and forth until you hear it click. And Make sure that's closed. Okay. Now here, you want to decide how long you want to extend this. So just keep adding jump rings one at a time, like uh, here. I have one closed, uh, so I'm going to put it on like this. I'm picking up a closed one, then I'm closing this. And then you just make it as long as you want. and you rock that back and forth, making sure it's closed. Now, so this is your extension part. Now for the class part, you can decide to put a lobster claw. And me, I would put a lobster claw, I would have two jump rings. Oh, that jump ring's not closed, but it's a demo. I wouldn't, uh, I'd be checking this later anyway. Um, so on the second one, I would put a lobster claw, or you can put a little fancy, um, clasp like this, but I wouldn't put this on, I mean, I would put on a necklace, but, uh, it's just, it's really strong. I would use this for a bracelet because it's blingy and I like to see it instead of the back of my neck. So. You just add your lobster claw and you're gonna do the same thing on the other side and that's it. That's your necklace. But you, this, is, this is a long project, guys, okay? So you're gonna, I mean, this took me a few days to do, uh, not a full few days. I picked it up, I worked on it for an hour, I put it down, I worked on it for two hours, I put it down. Um, so this is it. So this is what your clasp is gonna look like. And I am writing a uh, written tutorial on this project so that you can follow along through PDF, picture by picture. If you like this video, you can give me a thumbs up. And if you want to subscribe to be notified of new uh, tutorials that I put up, uh, you'll just be notified uh, that Jennifer Biederman put up a new video. So and if you have any comments, please leave them below. I always try to answer. Um, I have a lot of subscribers now, so it's hard for me to answer everybody. If you want to send me a private message, you can go on Facebook, Jennifer Biederman Jewelry, and I do answer right away, okay? Or as quickly as I can, same day anyway. So thank you, thank you for watching, and we'll see you at the next tutorial. Bye.